Alberto Scorfano. Luca Panguro. Piacere. Trollamo Trombetta. It's a human thing. I'm kind of an expert. How similar are you in real life to these particular roles? Jacob, let's start with you. Yeah, I definitely relate to, to Luca's curiosity to go explore the world. I think we all can because of COVID. Right now we're on side and we all want to get out there like Luca. Jacob really brings a certain sincerity and curiosity naturally. He really is that way himself. There's a difference in a certain innocence in Luca, naivete even, right? He doesn't know. He's a little bit gullible. He's going to believe Alberto. Whoa, don't look at it. Just kidding. Definitely look at it. <laughs> I relate to to Al Alberto so much. We both share the Silencio Bruno philosophy. Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! We both think very impulsively. We both dive right in head first to whatever the decision is without really thinking about the outcome. And we're both daredevils, I'd say. Jack, he is so much like Alberto. He is gung-ho. He has so much energy. When honestly, when you meet Jack, you're kind of like anyone. I mean, I was like, let's go on skateboard. I want to hang out with you. Like you want to go hang out with the, the fun guy. <laughs> Whoa. Even stuff like, I'm the ammo! Like, that's how I walk into a room. They have a camera to kind of capture your facial expressions. So they'll translate that into the movie. There's moments when, like, my, when, like, Alberto's eyes will widen. Like, looking at him, be like, that totally reminds me of me. We do not go anywhere near the surface. Got it? I was very excited to be the unapologetically tough but loving Italian mother. He knows I love him, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna kick his butt if he doesn't listen. Come on, let's find our son. I love that in this movie, the parents have an arc. It's not just one note. The parents go on a journey and they evolve. Wow, we look horrifying. It's kind of like when you're in a cab and the cab driver goes the wrong way and you're sitting with someone. It doesn't make sense for you both to be upset. It's, it's kind of like you need someone to play a calming influence than someone to play the annoyed person. Well, I did love her nagging at her husband's uh, enjoyable. Just keep your guard up. There's going to be land monsters everywhere. I wonder, when you guys signed on to this project, you took a moment to appreciate what your co-star has done in the past couple of years. Is there a favorite role from each other's careers? I'm going to have to say, for, for Jack, I really like um, Eddie in it. I can barely breathe. I'm having a asthma attack. It's a really good performance. I mean, like, it looks like you're, you're, you know, watching like this really nervous kid, you know, worry about everything. And that's pretty different from, you know, what who Jack really is, too. Augie was great. My mom always said, if you don't like where you are, just picture where you want to be. He really captured uh, Augie Pullman. That's his name, right? Yeah. yeah. Pullman. How did I remember that? That's great. He captured like, exactly how I visualized him from the story, the humility and the humanness. And he's vulnerable and he's naive, but he really has a, such a heart of gold. And I see that shine through with, with Jacob as well as, as the person he is. Thanks, oh. man. Shut up! <laughs> What's wrong with you, stupido? <gasps>